Everyone's favorite busty heroine returns in Laura Croft and the Guardian of Light. But I've never been a fan of Laura Croft or the Tomb Raider series. It's true, I always figured she was one of the first real examples of successful TNA in video games. And because of that, I've never been able to take any game with Laura Croft seriously. I've never enjoyed them, and I think the last time I played a Tomb Raider game was on the Dreamcast, and I hated it. So I was skeptical going into this game, but this game does not play like a traditional Tomb Raider-style adventure game. This is more along the lines of an arcade-slash-adventure game with Robotron 2084-style controls. In fact, the controls are incredible in this game, and make it immensely enjoyable. But I can't tell you how Tomb Raider or Laura Croft fans would react to this game, I have no idea. But as someone who's dismissed all of them for years, I really dig Guardian of Light because of the controls. You could literally take Laura Croft out of this game and replace her with anything. Dig Dug, a giant bottle of ketchup, a walking robot with a mustache. Even though the Laura Croft sultry imagery is the marketing hook of this game, I don't feel like it's the heart of Guardian of Light. The gameplay and the controls are the heart of this game. Now, you may or may not like it depending on if you really dig the old style Tomb Raider games, but this feels to me more like a combination of Gauntlet and Robotron. With, uh, with a dash of Diablo. Just a sprinkling. There's a lot of things to do in this game in addition to playing through the storyline. You're racking up points for one thing. That's pretty kick-ass. You're also being timed and there's global leaderboards, there's multiplayer, and there's a boatload, truckloads, an arsenal of weaponry to unlock and collect, as well as various items that you find laying around these environments that you can explore. They've built a nice amount of replay value into this. You can go back into a level after you've played it a few times and collected a bunch of weapons that you didn't have originally and fly through the level as quickly as possible to try to unlock various challenges. Sometimes you have to use a bit of ingenuity to climb up on top of things and grab various items. And while puzzle solving has always been a part of these games, it doesn't feel tedious and annoying in here. Maybe that's because subliminally, you just have to enjoy it when Laura Croft is moving balls. Occasionally, she has to climb on top of them as well. This game also has flamethrowers. After numerous games and movies and whatnot, Laura Croft is a household name, which makes her a very powerful marketing tool. But at this point, I figured she would finally hang up her sports bra for good because just about every other game has copied the formula hot chicks, tight clothes, two guns. The direction that this game takes will surprise many people because it doesn't obsess over the Laura Croft imagery to get the job done. The fact is, this is a well-made, fun, playable adventure game that probably would get overlooked were it not for the Laura Croft name. But on the flip side, people may expect different things. I'm not entirely sure. Personally, I really dig Guardian of Light. Blowing away spiders with a flamethrower just, just frankly, it works for me. Spellunking kind of sucks, but give me a flamethrower and endless waves of enemies, and I'm very happy. So now that Laura Croft is back, although she's really never left, what other female protagonists can we resurrect from the woodwork? How about Pippi Longstocking's flamethrower and chainsaw adventure? That would be both silly and violent. How about how about this one? Since uh, the Laura Croft Guardian of Light game is published by Square Enix, let's combine Nancy Drew with the Front Mission series. Nancy Drew solves mysteries with the help of a giant robotic battle suit with machine guns and rocket launchers. She could call the Hardy Boys bitches as she stomps on them. I'm gonna write that down and send that one to Square Enix. Anyway, something else. Something else with some real girl power. How about uh, Tila from He-Man versus the Baroness Mud Wrestling? Yeah, that, that's actually the only good idea I've ever had. Alright. <laughs> cool. 
Anyway, back to this. If you're looking for a fun pick-up-and-play adventure game with really solid arcade-style controls and a bit of an old-school feel, check this one out. Lara Croft and the Guardian of Light.